blogspot.com. I'm here to tell you about how to use multiplication flashcards in a better way to teach your kids multiplication facts. Um, so often we have just put them in a stack and said, hey kids, learn these and put the ones you know in a stack and put the ones you don't know in a stack. And really that's just not that effective. Then kids really never have a way to grasp the patterns that are occurring with all the multiplication facts. So I'm going to show you a better way to use flashcards. Now you can use these with any flashcards, but the ones that I've made here are uh, made so that you can print them with color coded cards so that they're easier to, um, for kids to learn patterns. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So here we have the really simple two times one, four times one, eight times one. All very simple multiplication facts. But let's look at what's actually going on here. Um, you have two, four, and eight. Now what is actually the pattern that is going on there? Well, because if you give kids long enough to kind of look at that, you realize that, okay, two is doubling to make four and four is doubling to make eight. So all of these numbers are doubling. So we notice that with the one where you say two times one, four times one, and eight times one, where one is a factor, but what's happening whenever you use a little larger numbers? So let's see, if you have two times two, we know that makes four, four times two makes eight, eight times two, makes 16. Again, what do you see happening? Well, of course you see the numbers doubling. Four doubled makes eight, eight doubled makes 16. So if you teach kids their twos first, and then you teach kids, let kids learn their fours, then automatically they're able to just see this doubling pattern. If we look at two times three, we have six, four times three, we have 12. So again, we're having this doubling pattern. Now you could just teach, you could just teach the twos and the fours to start with and then later teach the eights. But if you teach them in succession like that, where you teach the twos and then you teach the fours and then you teach the eights, you're giving kids a way to build patterns. You're not having them memorize, okay, let's learn all our ones today, guys. Okay, now let's learn our twos. Now let's learn all our threes. Let's learn all our fours. Well, if you do that, they have very little um, room to grasp a pattern if you're just starting with all these random numbers. And that's normally what we do as teachers. We say, okay, let's learn all our ones. Now let's learn all our twos. Let's learn all our threes. Let's learn all our fours. And let's learn all our fives. And you go on up the list until you get to the tens. But if you start with something that the kids can use to build their number sense understanding on, then they have a lot less mental work to do because then they're able to see patterns. And if you've watched any of my other videos, I may have mentioned this before, but kids who are good at math see patterns. And kids who are not good at math don't see patterns. And so if you can set numbers up in a way that they will actually be able to catch on to a pattern, then you are setting them up to be a successful math student. So let's see what would happen if you were to actually hand kids these for them to study on their own. So after you talked about the patterns, then the kids could stack them all up, you know, here. Okay, kids, go practice your, go practice your multiplication facts. And they're like, okay. So then you would stack them up. It's twos on top of the fours. Fours on top of the eights. Twos, fours, and then eights. Twos, fours, and then eights. So now when they practice, let's watch what happens, okay? Hmm, two times one, that's easy. I know that's two. Four times one, well, that's easy too because I know it's a multiplication multiplying by one, so that's four. Eight times one, that's easy because it's multiplying by one. But let's see what happens here. Two times, oops, two times two. We have two times two, four. Four double makes eight. Let me check myself. Oh, yep. Four doubled makes eight. Eight doubled makes 16. Yep. So if they can just remember the number that they learned right beforehand, it just makes them learning your facts so much easier. So now all the ones I know over there in a stack. Two times three is six. Hmm. Four times three, that's a little harder, but 
I know if two times three is six, and that must mean that four times three would be doubled, so that must be 12. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, yep. Now, if I know four times three is 12, gosh, eight times three, that one's kind of hard. I have a hard time remembering that one, but if four times three is 12, and if I double 12, then I know that, oh, it must be 24. Yep, I was right. So if you can teach kids to use their flashcards that way, it just makes it so much easier for them to learn their patterns. So you can stop by my store and see the multiplication flashcard packet. And um, in that packet, you can get all of the multiplication flashcards and they're organized by helping strategy and they have printable backs, so you don't have to do any writing. I actually show you how to layer the flashcards so that kids can learn the patterns instead of just memorizing facts. There are also a variety of multiplication tables for kids to use, and the multiplication tables are set up by the helping strategy. So it's not like the kids are overwhelmed with this huge commutative property table or this huge sheet of facts, zero through 12. They actually get to see just the facts that they're working on. So that's another added benefit of the multiplication packet. Thanks for watching. For Miss K at Teacher Blogspot, have a great school year.